I remember hearing my name called out. I don't really remember walking up to the stage and what I said and the walk back down to my seat. What I do remember is what happened after that. I sat in my seat and I put the golden guitar at my feet. And I just stood, I just sat there. And my, my manager at the time, Graham, leaned over and he said, hey mate, do you realize your life just changed? And it was this huge light bulb moment. And this thought just went straight through my head. And the thought was so clear, crystal clear, even to this day. And that thought was, wow, maybe I'm really gonna be a singer for my job. Maybe this is real. To this day, that night where we won our first gold guitar, and then um, to win uh, three more after that, that night, just one of the most amazing nights of our, nights of our life. We'll never forget it. Just so special uh, to, to get that nod from our peers in the industry and to look around the room and see all the artists that we admire so much um, there with us and celebrating. Just so, so cool. It was amazing, you know, and we were so overwhelmed when we won that first ever golden guitar that we actually both forgot to thank our wives. We definitely did. <laughs> we definitely forgot to thank our wives and we're, very, we're still very, very sorry. sorry. <laughs> My memory of winning my first God on Guitar was for Female Artist of the Year for what I did last night. And I've been nominated so many times over the years and I was just dying to win one. So when I finally did and they called my name, I thought, they've read the wrong name, it, it can't be right. It just shocked me and I didn't know what to say when I got up there. I don't think I thanked anyone. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing, but um, I was beyond happy and it just totally made my career to that point. It was very, very cool. Back in 1980, I arrived in Tamworth and had to do an interview at 2TM for my first ever single. And after the interview was finished, they gave me tickets for the awards and I thought, wow, this is great. You know, so I arrived at the, at the big circus tent because in those days they didn't announce the finalists in advance. And they, they're taking me right, taking us right to the front and I finished up three rows from the front and I thought, wow. Don't know how we got these tickets, they're great. Anyway, 15 minutes later, they were calling my name and I'd won um, my first golden guitar for King of the Rodeo for Best New Talent. Uh, one moment that was really, really special uh, for us and the golden guitars uh, was closing out uh, the awards with our song Country Heart. Uh, just a song that really meant so much to us and to, for it to be you know, album of the year and to play it to all these people in the room with us who we have huge, huge respect for, I've looked up to, uh, just so, so cool. Yeah, I think, you know, we've watched so many great closing performances and mm. not just closing, amazing performances of the Golden Guitars. To be able to do that with Brody and Casey, who we started this journey with, and also members from that incredible house band, that was really special to us. And um, let's hope one day we get to do something like that again. But I think that for us was is definitely a favorite. I was very fortunate to host the Golden Guitars this year in 2021 uh, with Andrew Swift and it was one of the most stressful things I think I've ever done. Um, there was one moment before we went out on, I was wearing this pink two-piece and I <laughs> couldn't get it done up and it had to be pinned and uh, right, they were like telling us we've got to get side of stage, we have to go on and, and Swifty's saying to me, Catherine, we've got to go, we've got to go. And I couldn't do it on top, my, my boobs were hanging out. <laughs> it was interesting. So he had to help me, um, you know, tie it all up. I have no idea how I got out there without a, a boob hanging out. So kudos to uh, Swifty. I won five golden guitars between 1980 and 1988 and then nothing for 19 years. And uh, in 2007, Drew McAllister and I won the Golden Guitar for Vocal Collaboration. And, and it was a great night. We were really excited. We went backstage and we did all our interviews. And uh, Drew went out to the car park out the back um, to, to ring his wife, Justina, and tell her about the Golden Guitar. And he's pacing up and down and stuff. And he walked back in and I said, mate, there's one thing you need to learn about Golden Guitars. And he said, what's that? I said, you don't leave them in the car park. <laughs> <laughs>